sneaking us back in the house, back in the house, yeah. Right. Today, we're looking at Manjaro XFCE edition, which is the standard edition, the latest release, okay. Now, I say the latest release it is actually a rolling release, so you don't really need to keep reinstalling it. In theory, and I'm saying in theory, remember it's arched base, in theory, you should just keep updating the core system, and you won't have to ever reinstall it. Now, that's what they say. Now, but, you know, after a while, though, sometimes it just needs a reinstallation at the end of the day. Now, I rather like this version of um, Manjaro for a simple reason. I've got it running on two laptops, oldie ones, and it runs just fine. Yeah, the boot up's a bit slow, but in use, they are just super fine. And I'll show you some bits and bobs around it. This is 8.0. I think it is, 0.8.10, Celia or something like that. And it's super duper. Remember, you can get other versions too. But anyway, we're going to go through the menu with you and some other bits and bobs and show you around. Be it next FCE, it's got a nice little doofer down there. But where should we start? Well, I don't know. Should we start with accessories? Yes. Plenty of accessories, as you can see. Loads of stuff. Remember, it's over a gig to download, so there is quite a lot here. So you've got your archive manager, your HP device manager is already installed, so is all your flash stuff, etc, etc, etc. And you've got a sensor view as well. Mm, nice to see how much you're going to burn. Big burn, disco inferno. We'll look at that task manager, so you can have a little look. As you can see, it's using around about 8 to 10 percent of my CPU, but now it's gone down to 4. It's using a quarter of my memory. Now, when Manjaro first arrived on the scene, which was about ooh, quite a while ago now, its RAM footprint was quite low. Over the time, it has gone up. Now we're at 240, so we're using 240 250 meg, which still isn't bad, really, when you think about it. But hey, ho, Sudi and Co. Who gives a damn if you've got a new machine? If you've got an old machine, you may not like it, but there is an open box edition as well as a net install and a minimal. Okay, that's enough accessories. Development. You've got your Java stuff, QT assistance, and that's that. Okay, that's enough of that. In education, well, it's not education really, it's LibreOffice Math. All right, so no big deal there. Under games, you get Steam. Oh, Steam. Under graphics, we get Gimpage and Vue Noir for viewing your images. But we'll open Gimpage up so you can have a little look. Hoping to help you, hoping to help you. Just give 2.8. As you can see, it's, I'm actually recording at the same time, so it's all right. It is in the box, by the way, but it's fully installed. You're going to do it always installed. I'm going to do some machine uh, reviews very soon. I'm just getting the other hardware up to date. I had a couple of hard drives go, as you know, a few months ago. I just haven't got around to putting another machine yet. Yeah, you know it's like. Extension Fuku. What be the other? It's time to do it. Yeah, it's time. No, it's not. It's done. And there we are. It got there in the end. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Well, it's not bad, yet. Obviously, next time you start it up, it will be a little bit quicker, if you know what I'm saying. Of course you do. Well, under internet, you get the Havahi server browser, and server browser, and browse for server for zero cost, and all that stuff. Firefox is your browser of choice here. Hexchat is for chatting with other people. So, basically, you put your name in, where you're going to free node, etc, etc, etc. Bob's your uncle, and he's your aunt. You're on your RSC client, okay? Which is nice. Okay, go back to internet. You get pigeon for your internet messaging. Steam, as we said before, while that's under internet, I don't know, should be under games. And Chunderbird for your mail. Under multimedia, you don't get too much here. You get XF Bird, which does what it says on the tin. It's like K3B. It just does the job. It doesn't foul, it just does it. You get X Noise for your music. Now, this is a weird choice, in my personal opinion, because there are better ones out there. But hey, who am I to say, okay? Yeah, well, we'll skip that. Yeah. Skip, skip, skip. It's just a basic media player, okay? Basic, basic, basic. It does the job. Which is fine by me, okay? We'll get rid of him down here as well, so we'll exit that. Back to menu again. Under Office. As you can see, plenty here. Not only do you get the full loop Office suite, you also get Orage. So open up the Orage calendar. Hello, calendar. And there we are. And today is Wednesday, the 8th of October. That's alright. We'll leave Orage open so we know what date it is. It's quite good. You can set alarms and stuff like that with Orage. If you've used XSC for any particular time, you know all about it. Under settings, right. This is where we've got a lot of stuff here. Set your desktop background. Should we have a look at that? Yeah, might as well. Might as well. There might be some new stuff here. But no, there is no new stuff. You have to get your own desktop to put in the own hole. Uh, 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 uh. Remember, it is based on art, so it's supposed to be sort of minimalist anyway, okay? Configure your firewall, <clears throat> keyboard, Manjaro, settings manager. Should we have a look at that? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go and have a look at that. It wants my password. word. There we go. A little flash of the fleshery thing now. 
And as you can see, all you do here is your keyboard settings, hardware detection, language packages, language and user accounts. Not much there really. Okay. You know what? Shall I see what? I'll just go to system. Yeah, Madam Rouge software. Software updated, blah, 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 blah. Now, I have found one problem with this actual release, and I don't think it's me. You can't actually update the bloody thing via the, the um, GUI. It's a bit of a bugger, really. So it'll do all this, and I'll show you. I'll wait a bit. I'll wait a bit. I'll wait a bit. Now, when I go to apply, Pac-Man don't want to play ball. No. Not initialized. Didn't want to work. Mm. I'll have to Google that one and check that out. But I do like playing this system. No, that's enough of that, so we're going to go straight to Intranet. And we're going to open the World Wide Web Browser of Firefox. Should be nice and new. Don't forget, you can also put the new excuse me, version of Chrome on here. Chrome 38 is released now. I'm just going to go to the Manjaro homepage so we can have a quick look there. And you can have a look. And as you can see, it all does stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. There we go. Nice. As you can see, it tells you all about it. If you want to know about it before you actually install it, you can watch a few more videos. I've done quite a few on Manjaro. Or read about it here. Now remember, it's a rolling, rolling, rolling release. Oh, by the way, it is in 32 and 64 bit. Okay, 32 and 64. So if I go to get Manjaro, you can see the sort of ones you can get. Okay, we can have a quick look. I'll tell you what I do miss on these later versions, the XSE versions, are the con key. When, you, when it first came out, you had a nice little con key thing over here, like you do with the open box one here. See what I mean? Nice, yeah. There's a card. I'm not sure if I'd want KDE on this system to be honest with you, but there is a KDE version, there's torrents and directs. You get a minimal net as well, as well as community editions for whatever stuff. Okay. There is an E17 in there, there as well, by the way. I tried it before, it didn't work for me, not very well anyway. Okay. So we're gonna go to the Babacur. Make sure it's all working, I'm not lying that there is an internet connection, and of course there is. Look at the BBC News, so we can check that out. Out, 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 out. Yes, yes, no choose with us, yeah, blah 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 blah. Hi for one, and here we go. It's such a day, I don't know why. Mm. Anyway, let's be me. I'll do you ram stick or something. Anyway, as you can see, comes up, works, does what it says on the lighting. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ebola, Ebola. Not good that, is it really? Well, on the whole, I rather like using this. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's okay. But I do miss all the conky stuff over here pre installed. But at the end of the day, it's based on art, and you're supposed to do it yourself. Yeah, no, it's really nice to use. There's plenty here for you. That's enough from me. Sneaky Linux. Go now. See you later, by the way.